Navitas Semiconductor. It's a company that most investors have probably never heard of, and yet it's up 252% this year and almost 400% in the last 12 months. That's no typo. This company makes gallium nitride and silicon carbide chips, the same technology that powers electric vehicles, AI data centers, and next-generation power systems. And here's what's crazy. Navitas just announced a new 800-volt GAN and SIC power device that's built specifically for NVIDIA's next-generation AI factory architecture. That's right, NVIDIA. So, Is that what's really driving this rally, or can it actually continue? Because if the company's worth a little more than $2 billion, and yet it's building the core hardware for the AI revolution, I think the stock is either massively undervalued, or the hype train has already run reality. Because, you know, I've been digging into the numbers, the tech, and the analyst calls, and there's something I noticed that... I haven't heard anyone talk about something buried inside their power conversion architecture that could reshape how data centers handle AI workloads. Hey everyone, my name is Rick. I've been trading since 1999 and no, I'm not a financial advisor. That's a good thing. I break down the numbers to help retail investors like you and me just make smarter, more confident decisions with our money. Today, I'm going to be digging into Navitas's breakthrough tech its financial reality, and whether this stock could have real long-term potential or if it's already peaked. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. The Motley Fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for investors of all skill sets and risk levels. And you all know how much I love researching new stocks and trying to find the next best investment. So I'm proud to partner with The Motley Fool to bring you 10 stock picks from their popular product, Stock Advisor. Stock Advisor has beaten the market by almost six times. Go to fool.com slash Rico to get your 10 stock picks right now. All right. So with all that out of the way, let's get into it. Navitas is a pure play power semiconductor company. And what makes it interesting is that It's not trying to do everything. The company is focused on one thing, powering the next generation of technology. The company makes gallium nitride, or GAN, and silicon carbide, or SIC. These are technologies that are used to charge electric vehicles, mobile phones, solar panels, home appliances, industrial machinery, and data centers. In other words, if something needs to move electricity efficiently, there's a good chance that Navitas is somewhere in the mix. And here's the thing. Semiconductors are the backbone of every mega trend right now. EVs, AI, clean energy, data centers. And Navitas is betting on being the leading supplier for that growth. One of their flagship products is the GAN Fast Power Integrated Circuit, or IC. Now, if you're unfamiliar, integrated circuits manage and control the flow of electrical power within a device. These are the tiny little brains behind every watt of power that flows through modern electronics. You'll find them everywhere, and we're in everything from your bedside phone charger to the massive data centers that keep most of the AI models running. The GANFAST Power IC, which uses gallium nitride, is at its base, it delivers up to three times faster charging in half the size and weight of a traditional silicon chip, and with about 40% better energy efficiency. These power ICs are used in mobile chargers, laptop chargers, data power supplies, solar inverters, and of course in electric vehicles. And that kind of performance advantage is why GAN is becoming one of the most talked about materials in the semiconductor world. Navitas also expanded its offerings beyond GAN in 2022 by acquiring Gene 6 Semiconductor. This is a pioneer in silicon carbide technology. Gene 6 brought with it patents on wide band gap power device technologies, including metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistors, MOSFETs, and diodes. Now, MOSFETs are a type of transistor that uses an electric field to control current through a semiconductor. In English, 
They're the switches that control how power flows. Silicon carbide MOSFETs take that a step further. They can handle higher voltages, run cooler, and switch faster than their traditional silicon versions. And that is what makes them ideal for demanding applications like EV chargers, where speed and efficiency matter most. Don't we all want our EVs to be charged in, in minutes? MOSFETs are mainly used in tandem with GAN power ICs for electric vehicle charging, and this is a pairing that could redefine the next era of clean, high-efficiency power delivery. Now, let's talk about the stock because probably that's why you're here and it's been on fire. Navitas recently hit a new 52-week high of $13.33 on October 14th before closing at $12.57 with a market cap around $2.1 billion. Year-to-date, the stock is up 252% and over the last year, almost 400%. That is a massive run for a small cap semiconductor company, and it's got a lot of investors wondering, is there still room to climb? So what is behind Navitas's recent rally? I mean, it's something that came up in my Discord server just overnight, and it turns out the answer might have something to do with NVIDIA. Navitas Semiconductor just announced new VDC GAN and SIC power devices that are built specifically for NVIDIA's next-gen AI factory architecture. And that is a big deal. With the rise of the AI factory, the new generation of data centers, purpose-built for large-scale AI and high-performance computing workloads, those traditional 54-volt power systems, they're reaching their limits. Legacy infrastructure simply can't keep up with the multi-megawatt rack densities that these new systems demand. These next-generation AI factories require unprecedented levels of power density, scalability, and efficiency. And Navitas's GANFAST and GeneSec technologies are designed to deliver exactly what companies like NVIDIA need. The new 800-volt direct current architecture helps meet those demands while setting a new benchmark for the next wave of AI-driven computing infrastructure. Now, at the core of this design is the direct conversion of 13.8 kilovolt AC utility power into 800-volt DC inside the data center itself using advanced solid-state transformers and rectifiers. This streamlined power path removes multiple conversion stages, it boosts efficiency, and it reduces energy loss and improves reliability. The 800-volt DC power then feeds directly into the server racks and steps down through two high-efficiency DC-to-DC stages to 52 or 12 volts, and finally to GPU-level voltages for platforms like NVIDIA's Rubin Ultra. So with Navitas, they're providing a much smarter way to deliver power directly from the grid and direct to the AI servers. And by cutting out extra conversion steps, it means that less energy is wasted, systems, they run cooler, and data centers can now handle more power and more reliably. I mean, this is becoming a quiet revolution in how AI infrastructure is powered, and Navitas is positioning itself right in the middle of it. The setup also complies with the IEC's low-voltage DC classification, up to 1,500 volts, and that ensures global safety and standardization. Now, beyond efficiency gains, it also simplifies thermal management and streamlines operations across the entire power chain. And that's the kind of technical edge that attracts those serious partnerships, especially as AI power demands continue to explode, just like the stock. So, is Navitas stock a buy at these levels? Well, let's see what the analysts think. A consensus among nine analysts currently rates the stock a moderate buy with a high target price of, get this, $8. The average score is 3.44, and it's been trending down over the last three months. Now, 
at the current prices, the stock is already above the high target price, meaning a lot of optimism is already baked in. But the story, I don't think it's over yet. I think the analysts, they had just haven't woken up and updated their numbers yet. But what do you think? Do you see more growth ahead for Navitas as AI and EV demand ramp up? Or is it just too risky at these prices? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're there, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe so others will find the video, it'll support the channel, and you won't miss out on any of my future deep dives. Well, that's it for me today in this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.